how to pick an estate sale company when you need to do an estate sale. That's what we're talking about today. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor in Silicon Valley in the Northern California area. Today we're going to talk about how to pick an estate sale company to help when you need to do an estate sale. Since we specialize in working with probate and trust sales, oftentimes we have families that have either inherited a house full of stuff they need to sell, oh my gosh, they're overwhelming, and or families, a couple typically that has raised their family, lived in the house for years, but it's time to downsize. So they need to get rid of a lot of stuff. What we've definitely found is that there's not one size fits all. So we have options. There's pretty much like four options that we think most people, you know, utilize. The first one is if you have a lot of things you want to sell and you think there's some value, but you really don't want people coming in your house and doing an actual estate sale on, on the site. So we recommend uh, two antique dealers. One actually has a store downtown San Jose. You can go bring your items there and he'll give you a price, buy them from you and, and you're done. The other guy will actually come to now, if you need to do a full estate sale, these can be overwhelming for a lot of people. So, we have a couple recommendations. One, if let's say you still live in the house and you're, you're fine with doing a lot of the legwork, but you just kind of don't know where to start, you kind of need some structure around how to make this happen, we recommend bringing in uh, a professional organizer. They're fantastic. Cut down your workload so much you won't even believe it. They'll come in, take a look at rooms, take a look at closets, and they'll just know how to start categorizing, organizing, and help you prep for the estate sale. So the, the pro about this is that you pay an hourly fee to this person, so you can kind of control how much you spend. Um, the con is that you still have a lot of work to do. So you have to do all the advertising for the, for the actual sale date, meaning putting ads on Craigslist, Facebook, and putting up sandwich board poster signs on corners in your neighborhood. You're welcome to use our open house signs and put a little poster on it. Uh, and then you have to be there for the actual day of the estate sale, get everything out in the driveway or have it organized in your room and, or in your house. So it's a lot of legwork. But I, the other pro is that, again, you keep most of the money. You just pay an hourly fee to the professional organizer. Uh, the second option is, let's say you live out of state, you're like, Annie, I'm not taking vacation time to do all this, can you just bring in an, an actual state sale company that will handle from A to Z? We've got a company that we like to work with. They're great. This is all they do. They'll come in, organize it all, price things, label things. They'll have it ready for the actual sale date. Then they do all the advertising for you. They have their own website that they um, have a big following. They will do the Facebook ads, Craigslist, all that stuff. They'll put up signs and on the day of the, the sale, they're there, they're haggling, trying to get you the highest price. So the pro is that they handle it all. It's fantastic. The con is that their fees can be high, somewhere upwards of $3,000 to set it all up, do all the advertising, uh, and then they take a percentage of the profits too, so typically around 30%. So the cost can be high, so you need to make sure you really have a lot of stuff that needs to go and it's gonna be worth everyone's while. The last option has quickly become one of our favorites and our clients' favorites. Uh, it's an online auction company. So they're all around North America, but what they do is they send you videos telling you, explaining to you how to kind of set it up before they get on site. So the online company has people the, the day to take pictures and descriptions, and then on the day of the pickup, they also send a crew back. So they, they facilitate everything, and they're so well organized, it's great. And so what's the benefit of this? They do a lot of the legwork, most of the legwork, I would even say, uh, and they do all the advertising. They charge, on average, around $700 to do all of this, all the advertising, the online website, the people coming in and taking all the pictures and descriptions and paying for the people to be back on the day of pickup. It's typically around $700. And then they take 30% of the profit. When you work with us and you're having us sell the house, we actually cover their fee. So you just get 70% of all the profit. So it's great. That can be a win-win for a lot of people. We are here to help you and we know it's a super overwhelming time whether you're the one living in the house and it's time to 
do this estate sale and find the right company to help you with your estate sale. Uh, or if you have inherited the property or not living in it and you just need to get things out, we would love to help you. We hope that information has helped make it a little bit easier. Uh, so comment below if we miss something or if you have another topic you want us to talk about and we are here to help you. So again, I'm Annie Baker, Realtor in Silicon Valley. Until next time, have a great one.